Right now the machine is completely powered down. We're going to start from scratch as if it was a start of shift and initiate fire. In the rear of the machine, power panel. Green is the green is the safe off position. Red. Red is powered up. The, the machine is getting power to it. Now we're gonna come to the front control panel. And it's a Windows based. Similar to a computer booting up, Windows, it loads into the CADmatic screen. And right now it's ready and it's coming up and it's asking, please enter password. Since we don't have multiple things that we do, we don't have, we don't have different security levels on it. And I'm just simply going to hit one, enter. It's coming up with a message saying that it's looking for different part paths like, like that and that's just a message that we can, we can ignore that. That's something that comes up on. We don't, we don't have a cable hooked to it going into the office. Or, so now it comes up on this screen here, which is the main screen. But as you notice, we've got two lights here flashing rapidly. That's indicating the machine isn't homed, normalized out. So I'm going to hit the power button. And you can see there's movement here. And right now the machine is going into a normalizing sequence. And the, the, the fence has activated itself. Right now the, the, the carriage is going way down to the end. You'll hear the carriage return. Yeah, it goes all the way down to its end limit. Now it's on its return back. Now there's, there's no flashing light. Uh, so now, yeah, this, now if they come just to start, we'll go through there, There's a bunch of buttons here. We'll only do the ones that are pertinent to us. This light that's lit up here, that's the main saw. Like right now the machine's running, but I just shut the main saw off. So I could... That way if somebody was doing a program and they didn't want the saw buzzing, they could set something up without hearing that saw going and still have the machine fired up. On this panel down here, for the most part, since we're being a job shop and we're only cutting one, one or two sheets at a time, we don't do a lot of optimizing in through here, you know, sent in from the office or some optimizer we uh primarily the two the two things we use the most are fixed position and cut to length i'll do fixed position first and for any any of the you can either hit f3 on the keyboard indicating any of these down here with, with the F keys, it's all F key driven, or you can also use the mouse. I could go back to, I could go back any of this right here and use the mouse, whatever anybody's comfortable with, the mouse, the F keys. But right now, right now we're in fixed position, and any of these numbers on the screen, I could go through and I, I can set these, I could set these all at zero. And 
what this is for any fixed position. It's simply what it is. The fence goes to a position that you program in and then it'll actually cut a panel based off the edge of that fence. No trim cut, just a simple, just a simple uh, uh, quick cut. Let me grab a piece of If I wanted to just, if I wanted to just cut this at a, at a foot long, I come in there and probe 12 inches. Start our main saw on. These two buttons here, primarily the, these are the common two buttons you you hit. The second button down will position the fence to wherever you've got wherever you've got this toggle to here. That second button down. That, that fence will go to that position. Put my part against there, the top button. There's the top button right here. I hit that top button. And the saw will go to... down to here and you can have numbers you can have numbers if you had like a bunch of parts that you're feeding around off the fix like we do when we cut laminate we always cut off of a fixed position with an open clamp and I can hit this button here and that now that went to 13 and 7 eighths I come up here, I hit that button, and I, that fence will just move around without making a cut, just based on wherever you've got this. And, you know, I, you know, I could come down here and have it go out to, now that'll go out, that's going out to 96 inches, eight foot. This button here is a very common used button. Whenever you're done something and you want the fence to come back to its zeroed out position, you hit that button there, and now that fence will come back and it's back in its back in its normal position. So pretty much, pretty much the fixed fence, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, the other, the other one we do primarily is cut to length. Now in cut to length there's a few different options. Right now typically we, we run it on the, the measuring box as indicated and what that means is when, when, when you start the sequence and the machine grabs the board it pulls it in 